Hey family. Hi guys. It's Tuesday, so it's time for another short tip. This week's short tip is it's okay to dislike. I don't like you. That's not what we're talking like that. That's not. So what he means is it's okay to dislike something that your spouse does or says or has, right? Oh, okay. I like you again. Anyway, <laughs> you're being silly. For example, there's one cologne, only one, that he wears that I love. I really, really love it. But he wears a lot of different kinds of colognes, and the other ones, eh, I don't like them so much. Hmm. And... So now we find out. You knew that. And... Um, I think it's okay to dislike them or things like that. It's okay to have dislikes of the things that your spouse does or wears or whatever. But I think it's all in how you let your spouse know. Mm -hmm. Right? I agree. And truth be told, I'm not always the best in delivering that truth the right way. Right? He's being modest. Because sometimes I'll be like... Shaky. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll say stuff like, ew, I don't like that cologne. Don't hug me, don't kiss me type thing. Whereas what I would, should say is something like, you know, I prefer the other cologne. I really like that one a lot. So I think it's all in how you approach your spouse and what it is that you have to say about your likes and dislikes or your dislikes in this in this case. I agree. and And it seems like, I don't know, if you're like me, it seems like that's a duh type moment, yeah. right? But you'd be shocked, and maybe you wouldn't be, how many people are kind of tiptoeing around their spouse because, mm. you know, of the types of reactions that they get yeah. or the way that dislikes or, you know, are expressed and that kind of thing. Yeah. And it causes more tension than it should. Mm -hmm. It creates more conflict than it should. And it just could be avoided if you just said it the right way. Yeah. It's not necessarily you gotta like everything, but how you deliver it and how you talk about it. We're talking about having a conversation all the time. When, when we get together with you guys, we always say have a conversation. And it's mm -hmm. just important to remember how that delivery comes across, Yeah, right? Because that could make it or break it could. as it relates to what happens next, yeah. right? Because so, you're gonna, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, because you're going to, you're two different people. So you're going to not necessarily always right. like the same thing. Exactly. So you're going to have to talk about these things. And I think it's better to deliver what it is that you have to say in a way that's going to be more receptive. Because if not, then you're going to end up having this big, not necessarily big, but blowout or disagreement over the delivery and not the topic itself. Right. And then you end up resenting your spouse over yeah. a fragrance. Come on. That's... Or resent, resenting your spouse because you don't feel like you can say what it is you have to say. Exactly. Without there being some kind of blow up or something. Which so, causes problems down the road because mm -hmm. now when the bigger things, fragrance was a small thing, mm -hmm. but when the bigger things come up that you really should be expressing dislike or expressing some redirection about, you don't say anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, simple tip this week. It's okay to dislike. Just be mindful of how you do it. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for you today. God bless. God bless.